The basic layout and position of the elements on our page should be dictated by the blocks we are using and the columns we have inside. We can use freehand control by dragging this square on the right side to make columns smaller and we can use this handle on the left side to move them horizontally. We can also use freehand control when quickly adjusting the appearance of some of the elements. For example, for image we can just drag this square to make it smaller and we can drag this circle in the top left corner to adjust the radius of the corners. We can select any of the text bricks and use the circle on the left side to make this text bigger by dragging it up and making it smaller by dragging it down. We can use the same technique to change the appearance of some of the elements we have in blocks, for example, like this button, which we can change the size and radius of the corners. And then we can select any element on our working canvas, press shift and change the margin around this element. This feature is basically giving us a freedom to resize any element we want very fast and using the margins place it basically anywhere on the screen. At the same time, I would recommend not to use freehand control a lot, because we have to always think about four breakpoints. Like you can see here, because we applied the freehand controls for this image on the desktop, it is completely messed up on other breakpoints. We need to go to each breakpoint and fix the position of our element. I mostly use freehand control when it comes to adjusting the margins and space between the elements. When I decide to use freehand control, for example, to change the text size here, I will switch to other breakpoints to make sure that all of the elements on our web page look great on all device sizes.